Now that we have our city blocks created, we need roads to surround them. Let's unhide our road one geometry by shift H. There it is. We can't see the road one object in the viewport very well as the mash one object is in the way. So let's make a new group by going edit, oh no, create empty group. Let's rename this mash repro meshes and middle mouse button our repro mesh in here and we will press Control H to hide it. So let's select our road one object and again create a new mesh network. Again we can see that's worked and we also have a new mesh 2 object in our outliner. It is best practice to rename the mesh network when it is created as the nodes take on this new name. So let's rename the mesh 2 network to mesh 2 road main. In the mesh editor, we have mash2 selected, so in our mash2 distribute node, we can leave it in linear mode. We just need to change the number of points from 10 to 5 and change the distance x in the linear options, which are at the top, to 4. Oh, sorry, not x. Change distance, zero out distance x and change distance z to 4. And there we go, we can see our road. As we did with MASH1, we can use replicator nodes to multiply the amount of geometry we have within the MASH network. So let's go back to our MASH2 road main, add a replicator node, and set the number of replicants to 3, and the offset position z to 2. There we go. If we unhide the repro mesh from our group that we created earlier using Shift H, we can see that there is a problem. Neither of the repro meshes are lining up. We can use a transform node to move and rotate and scale the repro mesh. So let's add a transform node to the mesh2 network. So transform node is here, add transform node. While we could use the position inputs to move the mesh2 repro mesh, we can create a locator and link that to the transform node to move it in the viewport. To do this, in the create menu, select locator. Rename the locator mash to road main transform and in the, the mash to road main transform we're going to middle mouse drag into our controller now. Now that the mash to road main repro mesh is bound to the locator through the transform node we can select the locator and move it to the correct position. So with the W key can now move my repro mesh like so. We need to create another replicator node, but we can do this again just by adding another one here. But here we'll just move it under so that we maintain the order and we will put that to zero, number of replicants to three this time, and we'll offset that to six. There we go. To animate this mesh network, we will use the same system as before and create a fall off. This time we will create the signal node first to create some noise. So let's add a signal node and we're going to set the position X and Z values to zero and keep the position Y at five. Let's create a fall off. Scroll down and create and we'll move that to the center of our geometry again. We're going to select our mash, fall off, and just click on invert fall off. Let's make sure our time slider is set to zero. And in the scale options again, shift click, and let's scale those to zero using the middle mouse button. Now we'll right click, key selected, move to frame 30, and we'll scale up to 30 and key selected. To hide the road elements, we need to add an offset node. So again, mash to road main and add offset node. Let's add the fall off that we created. So we select it in the outliner, connect. And again, we will just set our scale to be minus one. So as we can see, as we scroll up, our roads appear. 
just want a bit more rotation so in the third value here I'm just going to add 90 so that now when we scroll up we get a slight bit of a turn which we can see there we go and finally just need to add another spring node so now with the spring node the motion for the road elements is all nicely smoothed out